guys, how's it doing? Uh, following, following up with our lab, we, we will continue with the configuration of uh, the access control policy and also the the net. Uh, I, I think you guys remember that I had some issues with browser that doesn't show the 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 net the net uh, options to us configure it. So let's work on that. Let me jump to this one. So basically, what you're gonna do today, we will. Oh, let me log in here. But we will configure some ACPs, uh, some access list, access control policy colored in FMC. Uh, we will get this Windows 10 going out to internet and uh, we can do some blocks, we can do some configurations, we can check how some of the, the features works. For example, the security intelligence, uh, the, how we can block for based on application. Uh, how we can block based on ports and so on. Okay, so here goes. I think, oh, you're, you're logged on. Okay, let's go. So we already configured the interface, the routes. We can check that on the FTD itself. Let's jump to it. As you can see here, we're gonna like admin, the same password through OIP to get the information so we have the outside we have the inside uh, we have some routes here also so to reach our internal networks I send to the VIP of the HSRP uh, my default route is this and if I do a ping 1.1.1 yeah I'm able to ping so I can go to internet so what what is needed right now is just uh, the configuration right so let's go and do that let me get this guy through here and this other through here and let's work on this guy. So we already have uh, interface configured, routing, and let's configure now the uh, net. So I will create two, uh, one policy that will be applied with some of the rules that we needed and uh, I will show you some of the steps that, that we have to, to follow up to get that. So let's wait for him. Basically, this um, basically this net policy follows the same process as uh, uh, ASA. So we have three sections of net: net rules before, net auto net, and net rules of after. Those the before and after are manual nets, and this is I, I, what Cisco says automatically net. So. Uh, well, I can show you the difference between them, but uh, basically, not rules before is process before first, auto not then, and then the last the, the last one is the after. So basically, we we select the most specific nets, for example, for services that we are sharing, for an access for the VPNs and those things we put on the before, and then we let, for example, the internet access which should be the last one uh, at the end uh, under the naturals after so let's work with net rules now I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a manual net and let me show one difference so I can do a manual net here and say hey this net rules after okay it's coming from inside to outside and uh, the, the search translated will be 10.1.1.1 no matter address and I want to transition the search to the destination interface so it's gonna take the it's gonna translate all of these guys all of this network to the destination interface which will be the outside so just this uh, I can this will be automatically bidirectional but I need to have rules to allow that so Let's keep this only unidirectional. Oh, it, and this is because it's static, right? If you change this to dynamic, unidirectional is the default one. And I think for this case that we are go, we want to allow only the servers to go out to the internet because 10.1.1 .1 is only the servers. I will keep like this. So dynamic, and uh, the destination is will be the interface itself and I'm gonna say okay so let's read that uh, the source interface is inside the destination interface is outside 
the original source is 10.1.1 slash 24 and the we will translate the source using the interface which is the outside i'm gonna do also another auto net now just to, to, to show to you guys this there is some difference uh, for example, I use the same inside to outside and uh, I can use the search like uh, net 10.2.1.2 and I will translate also through the interface or I can translate for example to an specific uh, to any specific IP address for example. So I'm gonna use dynamic and I can say that uh, these guys will go out with uh, the ISP 172.16.8.1.10 so when the network 10.1.2 goes out to the internet it's gonna use the 10.1.2 IP one one seven two. This IP here one seven two dot sixteen dot eight dot one ten. Sorry for that. And uh, this is this is the ISP. And uh, what else you can check here? So that's the basic thing for this case. So let's keep on it. Okay. So coming from the inside, going to outside. If this is the source, I'm gonna translate the source to this IP address here. So let's save and apply that just to make sure and deploy it. And we need to also create some rules to allow that traffic, right? Because we don't have any rules yet. So let's go to policies, access control here where we configure our policies. So basically we have a policy called network discovery and uh, which allows everything. So if I just deploy right now, uh, the net rules, all of this two uh, ten dot one dot one, this, these two networks will be allowed to go to the internet because the default one here is uh, network discovery, which doesn't block anything. So let me do this. Let me uh, copy this one. I will call it the uh, ACP zero one. But uh, we're gonna make some changes on it. So let's edit here okay okay here you go first thing we are going to add the default one to block out traffic right so this acp will enter and if there, there is no rule for the for the device that's reaching this acp the default one will block everything so i'm gonna add some uh categories this is just to be to 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 get the acp more organized so let's say that we're gonna add a category like in, into mandatory colored block block list. So our blocks will be under this category. So let's say we want to we don't want that the guys on the on the ten dot one dot two network, which is the Windows network uh goes out to facebook first for example we can block or block with a reset interactive block interactive block with a reset these are the options that we run here so let me explain this to you guys allow with allow the traffic but we have a we we need to have further inspection what 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 do i mean with that i mean that we allowing the the traffic here with the layer 4 but if it's not process find something that is not good maybe this traffic will be allowed here but blocked by the not process uh, by the security intelligence by the, the 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 other the ips policy so we are allowing here but it will be we, we, we this traffic will have further inspection for the trust one we believe this we trust this traffic and that's uh in our in the security world doesn't uh, the word trust trust is not so good because we usually we don't trust any traffic right we don't know which traffic is passing but if you make if you have 
uh, if you make sure that you believe on this traffic, you can say, hey, trust, there is no further inspection on it. Uh, monitor just to monitor to get logs, block is block, block with a reset will send a reset to the device, so FTD will send a reset. Uh, interactive block, I will, I will explain to you guys later, but let's keep on and say block with a reset, um, block Facebook, all block social media and uh coming from the inside going to outside network 10.1 uh, going to any network i'm not gonna use the villain tags here uh i haven't configured yet the identity policy but we will do that since we 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 integrate eyes with fmc so in the applications let's select facebook and select all let's select select instagram and all and also let's select uh, whatsapp we will block all of this traffic coming from the inside so any port no urls no dynamic attributes we'll talk to that later since it's a block, I cannot have a IPS or a file policy on it. And let us do a login at the beginning of the connection because we'll be blocked, right? So let's log into the FMC. And when we have a syslog and SNMP server working, we will add it here also. So let me do this. So we have a, this ACL right working block. And let, let us create a new one under the default. Uh, another category called internet access and add a rule so this one will be allow we will use the internet as a name internet out so coming from the inside going to outside I'm gonna allow 10.1.2 and 10.1.1 to going out to the internet using the ports let's say http and https uh, what else you can do here oh i also have uh let me change one thing first so internet out will be only for these ones for the 10.1.1 and uh, we will allow this one and this because the server needs to go out to the internet to validate the DNS names. So uh, Windows Server DNS service goes out to the internet and trying to update the, uh, the, its database with the new sites that bring it up in their internet every day. Uh, so for these ones, for the 10.1.1, which means these three guys here and all of the suites, I will allow HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS over TCP and, in, in, and uh, UDP. I'm not allowing ICMP right now. So let's do login at the end. And uh, let's do also some inspection. I will, I will use the default ones. And then we can talk about the IPS because that's a topic that needs more time. So let's just say that we're going to use balance and the default variable set for now. Then we later we're gonna change that. We're gonna speak about more of this. So, and right now, I'm gonna copy to the same policy, and let's check that. Copy. Let me do this. Copy to same policy, and let me paste below. I'm gonna change only the network and remove DNS because these guys from the inside don't need to go to the to the internet to get the DNS answers. They will go for the DNS. They will request to our internal server and then they he, they can go to HTTP or HTTPS. So okay. Let me save that. 
so we have our acp we also have our nuts rule for this one so uh we are just missing one thing before deploy as you can see here policy assignment and uh there is no ftd on it so i need to say hey add this ftd to this policy so let's save and he's gonna ask hey this ftd is using the other do you want to continue with that let's say yes let's save it and deploy right here we go so here we're gonna show some of the changes that we are making who is making this that change we are gonna add the balance and security we're gonna add this uh, policy we can have more a preview of what is gonna be configured on the the ftd right now sometimes this take more some sometimes to 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 show to us so let me close this one and just deploy it but is there you can see some of the command lines that fmc will send to the ftd so let me deploy this i don't want to get any notes on it and deploy so guys uh, the the deployment is completed so let's jump to our uh, to our device here to our endpoint and check if can go out to the internet and also here on the server as you can see here i think we already have uh internet connection so let's go to cnn.com and check here goes we are able to go to the internet and uh if if we go to analyze connections events we can see some of these connections going out to the internet while the other endpoint it's loading so let's see here uh so here go we are allowing 10.1.2 so this the the client is already going out to the internet we are allowing the 10.1.5 going out to the internet what else we have here probably in a few minutes we will have fmc going out to the internet also because fmc goes out to the internet and trying to download some of the new informations from from the security from the talos intelligence site and also the url filter monitor so uh we are good on that but let's check it out here so this is our endpoint device that are gonna make some tests and let me show you something let me type cmd here open the prompt so we are able to go out to the internet so let's go to espn.com because we allow http and https but we do not allow for example icmp so ping 1.1.1.1 will be blocked right we didn't allow that uh, let's do a ns lookup to show who is answering for our dns request it's our internal lab so uh, let me go to google.com here it goes we are getting the ipv6 and ipv4 version of the same ip address and i think for that video we are good we are going out through the internet we made some blocks and then in the next two videos we are gonna go more deep under the the acp and net uh we're gonna perform more tests like uh try to block a specific site or a specific region uh this will be also made on the acp and uh we have more uh deep inspection to do it here so let's keep working on it and for today that's it well guys thank you for your time uh god bless you see you soon bye bye